Yeah. On this video, I was going to be showing you how to draft and uh, cut a perfect uh, fitting uh, trouser. So here are the tools in which you need for this uh, tutorial. So you need your hip cuff. So this one can either be a wooden hip cuff or a plastic hip cuff. You need your scissors as a, as usual. You also need your tape rule. You need your chalk and then you need your straight uh, ruler. So these are the tools we are using for this uh, illustration. Then you lay your material in two layers like this. So make sure that the wrong surface is the one uh, at the up like this and then the right side is the one uh, facing uh, each other. So you lay it like this and then the sewage is the one on this uh, side while the green line is the one you place on this uh, on this line. Then the next thing you have to do is to roll this area so that this place will be very straight. You know if you buy it, your material from people that sell the material, the edge they normally cut does not uh, normally straight. So you have to roll it straight like this and then you cut it uh, you cut it straight. So now let's get to the work proper. This is the measurement I'm using for this uh, illustration. The length is a 38 so the waist is a 36 while the hip is a 42 the thigh or the lap is a 26 while the bottom or the m so that is the leg the ankle and as we well call it ankle is a 14 or 7 so if you divide it into two it will give you seven inches so now you have to do this uh, small calculation before you continue so the crotch line which will be for the for this trouser will be your waist divided by four plus one inch so this depends on the person you are sewing for or you use it use 1.5 or you use a plus a two inches so let's use this uh, measurement for this so the waist is a 36 divided by four plus a 1.5 so the 36 divided by four is a nine inches plus a 1.5 so that is a 10.5 so that will be for our crotch line so this is what I mean by the crotch line. That is from here down to down to here. So that is the crotch line. So from here down to here. So that when you are doing your cutting, the this thing this place will not be too long or too short. So that is the formula to get uh, that area. So it depends on the person you are working for. You are sewing for either you use a one inch plus one inch or plus one point five or plus a uh, two inches. So and this give us a uh, ten point five. For this uh, waist of uh, 36 inches and then the hip line so the hip line is just uh, the wideness of this place that is let's just say one part so because if you the reason why you are we are dividing all our measurements by four is that if you take a look at your trouser you see that everything is in the four pieces it is one piece second third and then the fourth so whatever you are using the circumference measurement you have to divide it into into four so now the hip now the circumference of the hip is a 42 so to get this now you have to divide that 42 into four into four so now let's divide this hip into four so our hip measurement is a 40 42 our hip measurement is a 42 so that's 42 divided by four plus a 1.5 plus 1.5 equals to 10.5 plus a 1.5 so that will give us a 12 inches so that will give us 12 that will give us a 12 inches so this 1.5 is for 1 inch is for zipper why 0.5 is for seam allowance so that is it so let me quickly show you that so this one inch here this is for the zipper the one inch here and then the half inch here is for this uh, second uh, seam allowance so here now we have the hip so plus uh, 1.5 and then the 1.5 one out of it is for the zipper allowance while the 0 0.5 is for the seam allowance by the side so please just take note of all this when we are doing the drafting 
properly i'm very sure you will understand the everything that i've been explaining since i just tried to break it down so that it will be very easy for you to go along with me when i'm doing the drafting properly so thank you and let's uh, continue so now the first thing you have to do here is to first uh, roll the roll your roll one mark one inch here So apply the length measurement which is a 38 inches so you mark 38 inches 38 and then you roll it straight then you add your seam allowance so this can either be two inches or you use a 1.5 depends on how you want the seam allowance to be to be so let me use 1.5 for this So some people normally ask a question that uh, now I measure the length, the normal length, and then I still add the additional sewing allowance here. So this illustration will be as comprehensive as I can make it because I've done some illustration on uh, how to draft a trouser before. And then from the question that I received from people, I'm trying to break it down and then also talk about, uh, give more explanation on the on the question that I normally receive from my uh, people so this video will be a lot advantage a lot of benefit for a total beginner so now I'm having a sewing allowance here which is a 1.1.5 uh, and then some people will now ask me that we still need to join the band at the top which will be like a 1.2 inches after I've already added the the after I've already measured the normal length and I see add uh, the sewing allowance. So once that uh, increase the measurement, and I'm saying that uh, no, the reason is that uh, if we take like a half inch from here, and then we add like a 1.2 uh, to this place, and then what we will have now is this, and then you measure it straight down to this place, you will have this, which is a 38. Then additional inches you have here, we only increase your folding allowance of 1.5 which we have here to two inches so that is the reason why you only need to measure your length and then you add the sewing allowance without considering the band you are adding at the top so i believe i'm able to clear that then now the next thing you have to do here is to measure your crotch which we have gotten from the formula which is a which is a which is a 10 in 10.5 so just measure the 10.5 here. Measure the 10.5. Really straight. The next thing to do is to measure the hip line. Just to measure the hip line bit. So just measure it from here. You can measure it from here, no problem. So this will be start your measurement from here. So this will be the hip line, which is a 42 divided by 4 plus a 1.5. 42 divided by 4 that's a 10.5 plus a 1.5 so that is a 12 inches so you mark a 12 inches here you also mark a 12 inches here and then you roll it straight so here now you add a 2 inches here you add 2 inches here then let's get the waist line now let's get the waist line so you measure half inch here and then you connect the line don't start from here you connect the line from this place like this mark it like this so now to get the waistline don't forget our waist is a 36 so that will be 36 divided by 4 36 divided by 4 that is a 9 inches plus a 1.5 plus 1.5 so this 1.5 is for, for the is for the seam allowance by the side half inch is for the seam allowance Why one inch will be for the allowance for the for the zip here so this is where we are cutting now after we have gotten this the next thing to do now is to get the center line is to get the center line so this center line now we make your trouser get out to fall at the center when the person wear the trouser this uh, this gator this this uh, cr crease 
you'll be able to fall at the center when we do the final ironing. And another thing that can help you achieve this is that uh, when you are ironing, make sure that this uh, joining at the back here and the joining at the front here is on it's on the same uh, it's on the same line. So this will make you make your trouser get out to fall at the center. So you have to get the that center line, and to get that, you div divide this place into two. So which is a uh, 14 inches. That's seven. Then you come in here with like a half inch. So that will give me that will give me like a 6.5. Or if I start from here, that will give me like a 7.5. So let me just use this please. 7.5. 7.5 then you measure it straight down center line now another thing to do here is to get the the nail the nail line so this nail you can as well have your nail measurement but that is not uh, that uh, necessary so i'm not adding a nail measurement to this but this is how you can get your nail line so just divide divide this place from this uh, m line to this place divide it into two And then you add a two inches upward. This will give me 16 inches. So you mark 16 inches here. And then you roll it straight. That is for the nail. So the reason is that if you take a look at your figure, you realize that from this place down to your nail, it's very short than from your nail down to your ankle. So that is the reason why this place is shorter than this uh, place. Now, the next thing to do here is to get the M line. So our, and our hem is a uh, 7, 14 inches, which will be the circumference. And if we divide the circumference into two, that will give us a uh, 7 inches. So this 7 inches now, just place your table like this and fold it like this. That will give us like uh, 3.5. That will give us a uh, 3.5. I believe you can see this. So 7 divided by 2 will give us a uh, 3.5. But there's one thing that I normally do here is to shift this uh, measurement to this side with half inch. So this 3.5 now, I will shift it to this side, at least to the side with a uh, half inch. So instead of having 3.5, I will have a uh, 3 inches. So now measure here with a uh, 7, and just 7 here. So just come up a bit, like a uh, 3.5 inches upward, and measure 7 inches again. Measure your 7 inches, then you rule a straight line so that the trouser will be a little bit straight from the bottom just roll it up a bit and now if you want to apply your nail measurements then you apply the same thing the same process that i use here you apply it uh, here but i'm not applying the i'm not applying the, the nail measurement so just to place your tape your hip cuff like this you can measure this one twice so your target now will be this end so this hip cuff now, you can see it's the biggest part and this is the smallest, smallest uh, part. So you place it like this. And then you connect the line. So that is it. So now you turn this one like this. Make sure that it's straight a bit. Roll it to this end. And then you can turn it like this. You can see this? So turn it like this. So just connect the line to this end. And that is it. So this is how I place this. And when I want to place this one, I turn it like this. So make sure you take note of that. You place it like this, and then you turn this one like this. Then, another question that I normally receive from people is that, uh, no, but you didn't add uh, the thigh measurement to this uh, thigh on the front. Yes, I did not consider the thigh measurement here. But the reason is that uh, it's not only the front that make a uh, thigh measurement, both front and the back makes uh, the thigh measurement so both the front e part here and the back here makes a uh, thigh measurement and then you know that back will be bigger than the front so if you want to consider that you can as well have this so this will be like a don't forget that a thigh is a 26 a thigh is a 26 so when i measure this i have like a 13 inches already so this 13 inches now will be the same thing that we get at the back to make the Whole thigh complete which will give me 13 plus 13 which will give me 26 but your own can either be shorter than the, the half of it if you have a 12.5 it's still okay if you have a like a 12 inches it's still a little bit uh, okay then you need to add the remaining to the to the back so now let's you come down here with a half inch you raise this one up with a half inch also 
then you connect this cell line so that is it no. so just put this line then another thing that I normally do here is that I don't cut this piece complete so that if I fold this uh, facing like this it will be very wide so I won't cut it exactly here I will cut it from here but the measurement that I'm following is this same uh, measurement so I believe you understand that so now this is what I need now to get the pocket opening here so I want to mark it uh, 8 inches so just notch it with a half inch Eight inches with half inch so don't forget that our measurement started from here so you have to take it from here which should be for the pocket opening so this is a 2.5 so when you are doing the folding now this is a 2.5 so it will be this place will be and you later fold this place inside this place will be very wide so that whatever you the material use for the pocket so will not be reflecting the uh, outside so that is why i normally increase it i don't cut it exactly on this shape i leave a space like this so when you fold it like this you have uh, enough uh, material inside for the for the facing so now the next thing to do now is to cut the back so you lay it like this just shift this one to the front then you turn the material like this lay your material like this and you hold the line so you have little work to do here and then you hold this piece So now when you lay it like this, the first thing you have to do here is to get the the thigh. So don't forget our thigh measurement is a 26 inches. So 26 inches. So now, and I told you that uh, what make the thigh is a both front and the back. So out of that 26 inches, whatever we have here, then we add it to this uh, back. So now, let's measure what we have here. So this is a this is a 13 inches so just drop down a bit from this uh, crotch line to get your thigh measurements so this is a 13 inches and then that is that means that out of 26 inches we have a 13 inches now we need to measure for the back the remaining parts now we need to measure it from the back so now this is a 13 inches so we place it like this and then we have a this our 20 26 so once you have the 26 inches then we add a seam allowance to it you have a seam allowance to it. A seam allowance will be 2 inches or you make it a 2.5 to be on the silver side. Maybe when you are weaving it, the machine can cut it or maybe when you are sewing it, you can assess so more than the half inch. So the reason for that is that a half inch here, when you are doing the sewing, when you are sewing the trouser, the reason for that uh, additional 2 inches to this tie is that a uh, half inch here, half inch here, so that is a 1 inch. Half inch here, half inch here, that is a, another one inch. One inch plus one inch, that will give us a two inches. But when you are doing the weaving, your machine can cut it off. So you may need to add like a 2.5. Or if you like, you add that a two inches. So we are adding two inches to this a 26 inches, which we, we have on the thigh. So this will be 13 inches on the front, then on the back. We have a 13 inches which is a 20 26 then you had additional 2.5 so this one 2.5 so you mark it like this so that will be for the back then now to our bottom line so that will be for the back then now to our bottom line just add two inches to this m line add two inches to this then you connect your line So if you, if you can, you can as well use a free hand to, to do this, if you know how to use a free hand, you can as well use your free hand to achieve this. You can see that. So now, let's get to this piece. So don't forget that uh, this is where our measurement started. You can as well make it straight like this. So from here, you can either start from here. Let me start from this end. Straight line. So we just on the straight line. So when we divide our waist measurements initially, we have a uh, nine inches so which is a uh, the waist 36 divided by four which give us a uh, nine inches so you measure nine inches here and then you add a uh, 
you had three inches you had three inches to this so this is it this three inches the reason for this three inches the additional three inches is that a uh, half inch will be for the same allowance by the side the one inch will be additional inches for the darts at the back here yeah? as the back here the darts at the back here half inch half inch will be for the one inch then half inch here will be for the same allowance by the by the side by the side then another thing is that uh, the remaining 1.5 the remaining 1.5 will be for the same allowance at the back here yeah? so this is it so i believe you can see this clearly so this is the back so the same allowance at the back here will be for that uh, 1.5 so this is it this is a uh, 30 this is a uh, 9 inches plus a uh, 3 inches so this one is constant so 3 inches the half inch will be for the joining by the side 1 inch will be for the dart at the bottom at the bottom here then the 1.5 will be for the joining at the back here so that is it to well that is the reason why we arrive we arrive at this uh, point so just measure two inches upward here so to make the back to be higher than the than the front because of the shape of the bottom so now you can connect uh, this place like this so just slant it a bit slant it a bit and then you cough here you cough here i think that is all cut the for the dots here so don't forget our measurements here is a uh, 36 and that is a uh, divided by four that's nine that's nine which is which is this this is nine this is nine so you can divide it into two to get your to get your dots here to get your dots here so this space will be for the dots and then the length will be like a one three point five Cutting pieces for the back pockets. For the waistband so this for the band you can either make it a three inches or you make it a 2.7 so let me make it a three inches now the wideness will be the waist divided by two plus eight inches so waist divided by two is a 18 that's 36 divided by two that's 18 plus eight inches so this is uh, 8 inches. So let's cut this like this. If you are cutting for a trouser with a stripe material like this, so you don't cut the band like this. So you can see that the way I cut this one is on the green line. So you don't cut it on the green line. So you make sure that uh, even if the material is not enough, you can, as well, you can easily join it. So you have to make sure that uh, the 
stripe is on this uh, on this line so don't make mistake of making it uh, stand like this on the on the band so if the material is not enough just make sure that uh, just join it to make it uh, longer so that is it on how to cut a trouser a fitting and a perfect uh, trouser i believe you enjoyed this uh, video so till the next time we're meeting again i say thank you for watching and then bye for now